Hey, sub 30 in Sardinia. Cheers, Turbo. Group A is very fun to grind stages on. They all are, to be honest. All, all groups. Right, let's rip it in the max attack. Group S was really fun. I really enjoyed the whole of Group S. Even the ones with the weird cars that didn't really handle very well at all. Although to be fair, part of Group S, coming back from not being able to actually get a grip with any of the cars for Group B, into being able to get a grip with the car because half of it was done with one car. And now in Group A, I'm going to get to just ride the Kingpin. Don't cut. Sardinia is pretty well clipped. But Kenya's actually marked where you can and can't go with rocks rather than Sardinia where you can pretty often find yourself falling foul of a caught on a cut. Got to know where they are. <laughs> I'll fucking kip after this.
Yeah, I did that last time as well, didn't I? That's the kingpin. You gotta design the car in six months. The only solution, more tea. You put a kettle in the engine so the really drivers didn't need to stop during stages. I mean, I don't have a car and it's quite difficult to boil tea on a bike but I do have a mug, a specific, a bike specific f thermos flask that I have previously had tea in, yes. Bike specific meaning it's the exact right size to fit in a bottle cage rather than just kind of generally fits, like most. I do like it how the, the bicycle the bicycle bottle cage has been the, has become the standard size for bottles. Like it, it just has. You can pretty much get any metal bottle, and they will roughly fit into a bike's water bottle cage. Especially one of those, you know, standard kind of aluminium, thin metal band ones that are just bent metal, because you can bend them in and out a little bit, make make it fit. But yeah, a proper proper bike bottle has an indent at the top, um, or somewhere depending on how tall it is, has an indent so that it gets held in by the top of the bottle cage, uh, and it will be, you know, round standard standard bottle size yeah I've got one of those comes with two lids comes with a flask lid just like a screw top lid uh, and a regular sippy cup lid and any time that you hear bubbling noises weird bubbling noises like this That's because 
my regular bottle is a metal water bottle metal bike bottle so it needs to have a straw to get the air back into it so it makes weird noises on the microphone sometimes didn't really do them that time but sometimes with the right angle and the right placing of the straw it'll really make a roaring weird bubble on the mic as I go to take a bit of a bit of squash a bit of cordial juice a bit of diluting juice but the stereotypes aren't entirely true because a lot of people in this country now drink coffee more than tea whereas I hate coffee I'd much rather have a cup of tea but I don't really drink that much tea either yeah bring back the tea One of the reasons, to be fair, that a lot of people drink coffee is that it's impossible to get a to-go cup of tea. Because they either don't use hot enough water, because you do have to use boiling water for tea. Um, or you end up getting given a fucking teapot with five cups in it. So why why am I getting a teapot with five cups in it? And part of the reason you get given a tea, if you go to a cafe in here and you ask for a tea, they will give you a tea a teapot with five cups in it. And the reason they do that is to justify the price being the same as a cup of coffee. Because the coffee is expensive. Because the uh, they bought an expensive machine for it. Whereas tea, most places either you need a five pound kettle or you have a hot, an instant hot water tap put in. If it's a, you know, business establishment, you probably have an instant hot water tap put in. Instant boiling water tap. I mostly drink hot chocolate though. Which always makes it easy at the coffee stop. Everyone's trying to work out who ordered in what order and whose latte this is. And I'm just like, I'm waiting for the one with cream and marshmallows to come out. That'll be mine.
Oh, bollocks, I forgot to hit start recording again on this one. I'm going to have to rip it off the YouTube stream. That's annoying. It's also annoying because I don't actually know what the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This was a bit of a crap car to pick for uh, for this category with black black track. Mm. All all the Group A cars are viable, aren't they? So I think it is just getting used to one. Like, I like the kingpin. I quite liked the lift back, actually. I think I'd probably, at the minute, don't really like this one. Did use it for my entire career playthrough. Definitely don't like the Fujin. It's big, it's heavy. This one's kind of the same, but to a lesser extent. Do like the lift back. Do like the kingpin. I'm so glad that I actually liked how the kingpin drove. Because I was slightly worried that it was like, oh, fuck. Fujin's just so heavy, it's like a fucking tank. Oh, and I like the gorilla. Oh, if it has a uh, nice turning at slow speeds, then that's probably why I quite like it, because uh, I never actually drive at any fast speeds. You should try and set a world record in every single Group A car if you refuse to drive any other categories. Set a world record in every Group A car. I never said you needed to have a world record in Group A. You don't have to have a world record in Group A to set a record in another... ...in another car. You gotta get some world records first.
F. Rip through Pass Saviari. Zero world records, see your name. Even worse than your mum finding out, what happens if uh, Brick Motorsports finds out? Why would they want to sponsor a world recordless driver? I mean, 1920 categories in this game and you couldn't get a record in any of them? While well, there's an active player base of like 10. <laughs> I do think it's quite funny that there's that many world records, but there are genuinely like 10 people who have any of them. Fuck. Yeah, there aren't many dedicated players. And, to be fair, the ones that are at the top have been playing since the start of the game. Or, at the very least, since this uh, leaderboard reset. So, you know, it's not like, oh, there's so many records, so a couple of them will go unnoticed. You're going to have to drive last season's car. Unfortunately for you, it's a Group 4 Turbo. <laughs> Brick Motorsport hires up and coming talent who claims to know every course in the game. Fuck off! Are you kidding me? Are we have we just gone local? Fuck off! Go fuck yourself! Fuck's sake! Well, that's one that I'm going to have to redo. The annoying thing about having to redo them is that I'm pretty sure I have to actually beat the time to be able to get it to count. Otherwise it will just stay um, otherwise it will just stay local. I'm pretty sure I actually have to beat the time while online. I can do it in time trials though so it's not as bad. But yeah I expect to find a fair few of those going through that just didn't upload because I press continue straight away on all of them. So there's a good chance that there's a fair few that didn't upload and I've never checked them since I started doing this group 2. Haven't checked any of them. The only ones I checked were the ones that I was doing in time trial for the bonus as I was doing them in time trial. Because they weren't too bad, because I could just redo them immediately, you know. Do the stage again if it broke. But I haven't seen that... I haven't seen that uh, 
No upload. No, I think you might have to drive a PB while online. Actually break your offline time. Or it might upload the time, but I think it's it'll show local if you don't break your PB time. The whole point of this is to so that when I press U, I can see my own PB time. For screenshot purposes. To guarantee that I'm on every leaderboard. Because there is one where I'm on... It comes up as local, uh, but I'm in the top ten. In one of the Dakars, I think, or the Triwheeler. Back when the servers were breaking, I was literally like, you doesn't exist. Top 10, there I am. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go through and figure out any of those ones where I've not got an online time properly set. Redrive them, which is going to take a while. The screenshotting portion of this is going to be another few hours of grinding. I mean, it would be like two or three hours of just trying to take the screenshots. At least. If not more. Grinding screenshots, I know. That's what's going to happen after I finish this, I've got to grind taking screenshots of all of the tracks. And like I say, if you do it for one second it's 32 minutes. So if I've got to take a screenshot and each screenshot's going to take a few seconds to load, if it's five seconds, then it's two and a half hours. If it's ten seconds, Then it's uh, it's five hours. If I've got to redo any of the tracks, there's a couple of minutes on there. So yeah, it's going to be a full. It's going to be a couple of days of just taking screenshots, and that's just taking the screenshots because I'm also going to be renaming them. So I'll be taking. The plan is take 12 screenshots, all the screenshots for a category, then rename them to their track numbers, then put them in, f move them out of the screenshots, Steam screenshots folder, put them into a different folder for the video. Each car is going to get its own folder. Then I can run FFmpeg on those pictures to get the I am trying to figure out what the video should be titled how I beat every track in Art of Rally how I 100%ed Art of Rally because I technically can't claim the world record because nobody knows who has beaten all of these tracks. We're fairly sure that it's only Schnellfahren. Like 99% sure. Because that's the only person that shows up on all of the leaderboards for the... Uh, what's it? And they say they've done it. So, no reason to not believe them. They're on pretty much all the leaderboards for the bonus tracks. Um... So no reason not to believe them. Although they do have a couple of offline times. So I will be the first person. Uh, to guarantee that they're all online times. 
How I had no life for three weeks while I just grinded out of rally. Best known time with video evidence as approved and verified by members of the speedrunning community. Yes, that is what I've got. Graham Abree said, I went to see a thing, Graham Abree, one of the best cyclists uh, Britain ever produced. That never did anything as well. He went for a record, a speed record. And he ended up doing the wrong thing. Because he thought that teardrop shapes were fast, but apparently they turns out not fast. Um, and most bikes, your face, most of these sort of land speed record bikes, you're facing forwards, whereas he was facing backwards. Oh no, he was facing forwards, and most of them you're facing backwards. Uh, so he he ended up getting going trying to set this record. Didn't set the record. But they said, you can have the record for the fastest recumbent bicycle facing forwards two ways. Something like that. Re you know, recumbent pedal powered bicycle facing forwards, all this bollocks. And it was like, the longer the record title is, the less impressive it sounds. The more categories you have to put... The less it, and it, there's a point where the where it doesn't become worth having the world record anymore because there's too many stipulations to it. And sometimes it will be a world record that people inside of a community will be happy with, but people outside, when you go to tell them you got this record, it's not something that they care about. Whereas inside of a community, yeah, they, they might care about it. Like Art of Rally. I got the world record for 12, 12 tracks custom in the Rain Group S. You know? Most people understand that a very specific thing can be a very difficult thing to get. Like a single track. Like, But you would say the Group A Sedona Island world record. But if you start saying Group A Satona Island forwards in the rain, it sounds a lot worse, doesn't it? Fuck. You see, Des is the Xenotic Defrag Continental Champion. That's quite a good one. Whereas, I am the champion of... Uh, <laughs> well, Des trying to work out what I could actually be the champion of to force me to play my own runs on the stream. Realising that actually I, I'm not even the... I'm barely the fastest fucker in my house. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure I'm the fastest in my city. Anyway, that's, that's a time that is. 
It's continental in Britain. Anyway, yeah, cheers, Tabo. It's continental in the way that 